Stage is set. Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C., ready for students from all over the nation to march. Students from Stoneman Douglas, they're leading the charge, and they've helped make sure that students, parents, and teachers actually make it there. Our Alex Hagan is on the ground in Washington, D.C. He has the latest there tonight. Alex? Michael Shannon, good evening. It was more than a month ago these young activists, these students from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School organized this March for our lives and now it's finally here. I am standing here on Pennsylvania Avenue where this march is going to take place, the Capitol building here behind me. It's finally here and organizers, these students estimating there's going to be hundreds of thousands of people right here. On the streets of our nation's capital, I found Douglas students Julia and Lindsay and their friend Remy, a former Douglas student, all three reflecting. We don't want to see this happen anywhere else and nobody should have to like be a part of something like that. I still haven't really registered the fact that it was my school, but. But looking forward to making their voices heard tomorrow on Pennsylvania Avenue for the March for Our Lives. I just think that the support is very important, but also that we don't let it happen again. I also found senior Alexander Goodchild. Being able to be here and actually see the changes going on and seeing all the rallying and seeing all the support here. Today it was quiet on Capitol Hill. Many students meeting with lawmakers, even former Vice President Joe Biden. And the buses kept rolling in, filled with students from all over. Excited to descend on Washington. Craig Pugache, Douglas alum, helped raise thousands of dollars to get people here. Students, family, teachers. To stand behind the students from Douglas. We're echoing what they say. To, the march is their march, and we're here to support that. To stand behind students like Alexander. We're ready to see change what's, what's going on. We can't let something like this happen again. Like Julia, Lindsay, and Remy. What people need to understand, what lawmakers need to understand, is we're never going to stop talking about it. We're going to continue to put pressure for as long as we're here, as long as we're alive. So that march tomorrow is going to begin at noon, along with many other marches across the country, including Parkland. We'll have full coverage here tomorrow in Washington, D.C. Now, if there was a number that is being thrown around, an estimate of how many people are going to be out here on Pennsylvania Avenue tomorrow, 500,000 people. Reporting live in Washington, D.C., Alex Hagan, WPTV, News Channel 5. You can follow Alex's coverage as he reports on the March for Our Lives. He's always posting news stories and updates to our blog on our website, WPTV.com.